y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am jazz and over here we talk all things cash if you are into budgeting debt cash stuff and sinking funds anything related to money then this is your channel go ahead thumbs up the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to engage in the comments down below <clears throat> so today we are going to be budgeting my second paycheck of august um so let's just get right into it Paycheck is for eight fifteen. Um, if you guys didn't see the last one, I do have a new job and I am paid on Mondays. However, my check is deposited on Saturdays, but we are just going to use the actual paycheck date to budget it. My nine to five income is seven hundred. And eighty four dollars this time, and then I did a little side hustle. Um, for thirty dollars. So I hope you guys can see that. So total, we are going to budget. $814 this pay period. And getting right into it, I have, I think, three bills due this time. My gym membership, um, my phone bill, And the kids' phone bill. Gym membership and my phone and my phone bill are both due on the 18th. And then the kids' phone bill is due, let's see, on the 20th. And y'all, at first, I did not think that I would like getting paid every week because I knew that the money would be um, less and I would have to stretch it further. But I love that I can break up my bills weekly like this. This is working beautifully for me. So my gym membership is twenty five oh five. My phone bill is eighty nine. 69 that's gonna be less next month because i received a 15 dollar credit i don't know what it was for but i'm happy i got that email and then the kids phone bill is 59.63 now you guys might wonder why i'm always paying their phone bill it's because i have chosen to split their phone bill into two so when i was getting paid semi-monthly i was only getting paid twice a month and since their bill was a little higher, I decided to split it into two payments. So you're, you guys are seeing like several payments come out for their phone bill. And that's the reason why. Um, eventually, if I get more income or side hustle, I might just go ahead and go back to paying it, you know, when it's due the full bill. But until then, I'm going to keep it at being split up, split in half. So let's add up the total for the bills. We have 2505, 8969, and 5963. And that's a total of 174.37. If I take 814, subtract 174.37 that will leave us with 639.63 okay so 
I am going to, um, let's see, go ahead and write down the cash envelopes. And that's going to be, I'm going to skip a line because it just looks neater to me. It's going to be me. Take out. Household, beauty, blessings, and miscellaneous. I'm going to take 40 this time. Take out is going to get 60. Household is going to get 30. Beauty is going to get 30. Blessings is going to get its usual 5. And miscellaneous is going to get 10. So let's add those totals up. That total is 175. So if we take the 6, 39, 63 minus 175, that's going to leave us with 4, 64, 63. Left over. <laughs> and... Uh, out of the 464.63, I think I actually have like <laughs> 400 and let's see. Let's just see how this let's see how this calculates. So um I know I want to go ahead and do something with uh, let me write the total in up here first. So it's 464.63. 63. So we're going to go with birthdays. Um, car payoff. Car maintenance. Debt. Emergency, Jemiah, myself, Maddox, Samaya, um, family and I don't have enough space so I'm going to just I could cut off a sheet and write it in here but I'm not I don't feel like doing all that um you know what I could use a sticky note I can't do that let me see for now family Sam's Club and school. So birthdays, I am going to do ten dollars. Car payoff, I'm gonna do five. Car maintenance is gonna get six dollars. Debt is gonna get ten. Emergency is gonna get ten. Jemiah is going to get five. I'm going to get 10. Maddox is going to get five. Samaya is going to get 10. Family is going to get 10. Sam's is going to get 10. And school is going to get 10. So let's do this here. 
we have, let's add these totals up. 10 plus 5 plus 6 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 101. Let me see. Let me just calculate 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. Yep, 101. So if we take Um, no, I messed that up. <laughs> I forgot that I budgeted to do my, um, month ahead binder this month. So let me go ahead and just wipe that, white out that, because I still have some other stuff to stuff. So that's, it's not one on 101. Let's keep going. So I have my month ahead binder that I'm going to be stuffing with this check. So those are the sinking funds, but my month ahead, I'm gonna do phone bills. And I'm gonna put 43 in there. Rent is gonna get 50. Subscriptions is gonna get 20. Utilities. Is gonna get 45. Wi-Fi is gonna get 15. Car notes. This is to go a month ahead. Remember, car note is gonna get 40. Car insurance is gonna get 20. And then car maintenance a month ahead is gonna get 10. So I hope you guys can see that. So we know these totals here added up to 101. So we need to add in these totals as well. So we need to add in 43 plus 50 plus 20 plus 45 plus 15 plus 40 plus 20 plus 10. And that's going to give me 344. 344 dollars okay so my calculator don't want to cooperate with me if I take 464.63 and I subtract 344 dollars that's gonna leave me with 120 dollars and 63 cent. Okay. So it looks like <laughs> this is terrible, y'all. My extra debt payment out of this check is only going to be 63 cent. <laughs> okay so that's not gonna work for me i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to do some things and see what i can do to make that extra debt total you know see what cash i can pull to make that because i do have you know a reserve in my checking account of course to make an extra debt payment because the goal is to make an extra debt payment every paycheck so even if it's like only like $20, so I might come up with $20 somewhere. I don't know. But, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. It's going to leave us with $120. I don't know why I keep trying to do that instead of just pulling out this white out. So we have 120 left over. And the reason why I wanted to only pull the 63 cent is because I need to stuff my monthly savings challenge. Um, 
for the month of August. So I haven't stuffed it at all. And we're coming up on the second week of August. And, you know, I don't want to have make that too much. So come the 15th, if we do 15 times $8 a day, it's $120. So if we do that, that's going to leave me with a zero base budget. Whew, took a lot to get there, but we got there. So from the beginning, y'all, the income I made this period was $784. Side hustle was $30. $784 plus $30 gives us $814. I have these three bills coming out this month. That total is $174.37, leaving us with $639.63 to work with. After I stuff my cash envelopes for $175, that is giving me $464.63 left to go towards my sinking funds. I'm going to stuff quite a few envelopes this time because I did something and you guys will see that in either the video before this one or after this one. I'm not sure. Um, so you'll have to check out the videos for that. But all of these sinking funds here plus these here leaves me a total of $344, leaving me with $120.63. That means I will only have enough to make a $0.63 cent extra debt payment, but I'm going to try to find some funds um, for my reserve in my bank account to make another payment. That leaves me with $120.00. If I stuff my monthly savings challenge through the August through the 15th of August, which is $8 a day for 15 days, that's $120. So 120 minus 120 leaves us with a zero base budget. So y'all, really, <laughs> I this is a zero base budget, but I'm gonna be over budget technically like $20 because I'm I need to pull something to make a extra debt payment that will put a dent in you know one of my credit cards so i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys really seem to like um my uh budget with me and i'm glad like according to my analytics you guys really like these so i'm going to continue to do these for you if you did like it don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel and i will see you all in the next one bye mm -hmm.